Okay, so here is a problem from Zahir Shah asking to make a video on how to point the height of a building. Instrument is only stopwatch and stone. Thank you Zahir Shah for sending your problem. Alright, so he has mentioned to use only stopwatch and stone. And if you see stopwatch is a instrument to note the time and stone. Okay. We will drop it from the building to note the time with stopwatch. Okay, let's go ahead. Suppose we got a building here. Wait, let me write if I can write better. Alright, so this is the building which height is to be determined. And let's say here is an engineer boy dropping a stone from the top of the building. So now here we will note the time with stopwatch from the time engineer boy is dropping the stone until the stone hits the ground. And let's say we got 20 seconds time noted on the stopwatch, which means the stone reaches the ground in 20 seconds. So we have some given data now, like time which is 20 seconds, gravity on the stone which is going to be 9.81 meters per second square. And remember one thing, the stone was in the rest palm at the start of dropping. So the initial velocity of the stone must be 0 meters per second. Alright, so using the same data, we can determine the building's height by using motion equation. So recall the first physics of ninth grade. And guess which motion equation is most suitable for the given data. Of course, it must be the second motion equation or the second equation of motion, which is of course d equals v naught times t plus one half a times t square. So the only thing we have to do now is just the plug and check in in the given equation, like d, which is the depth or height of the building equals v naught, which is of course zero times t, which is 20 seconds plus one half times a, which is of course minus 9.81 meters per second square. I'm putting minus here because it is in acceleration and the stone is falling in the negative y direction. And then t square, which is again 20, so 20 square. So now by doing little math with these guys, we can get of course the building's height equals minus 1962 meters. Here if you notice the video is negative because it's displacement. So what should be the distance or height? Of course it is the same video but not negative. It must be positive here because distance cannot be negative. And another thing you can notice here is both distance and displacement are same. It is because the stone does not change its direction while falling from the building and they are set. But hey, wait a minute, I have a question. What size of stone should be dropped from the building? Yep, it's a good question. But size of the stone does not matter on the building's height. Because if you drop two, three or more stones having different size from the same height will reach the ground at the same time. And it is because the height is same and gravity on each stone is the same. So building's height is now 1962 meters and they're set. Hey, if you have any problem, let me know in the comment section. Thank you dears for watching, see you next time, hello salam.